All right, let's start again. Uh, I just got some good news. I sold two CDs. Steve just sent me 10 bucks. So when you watch this video, Steve, you'll know that I started recording exactly after you did that. All right, um, here's what I got today. I spent, uh, I just, I spent time figuring out $68. Not a lot of whatever. Uh, to be honest, I went to the Midlands this morning to scrap gold. That's where I got this stuff. And I only walked down one aisle. Uh, I didn't walk like one aisle on this side and then coming back on the other side. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I wasn't finding anything special. I, if you go to some of your resellers, I'll make a video. I mean, I made a video. Uh, I won't post it till probably late tonight where you'll see the kind of stuff I saw. First thing I found at the Metal Ends was this game. It was on someone's table. I know the person. Um, I said, hey, how much you got for Super Mario World? The, what they said to me was like, I don't know, what's it worth to you? So I, I told them, um, I will probably sell this for $12. I don't even think this is worth 15 anymore, especially online. And even if it's worth 15 online, and I get 15, I'm not getting 15, I'm, I'm getting 10 minus fees, eBay fees. Because then when I say 10, shipping's going to be 4 to $5 now for this. So I said, uh, I, I, it's worth like 12 He said, uh, give me 5 Boom, that's done. I didn't see any good old school games in the row that I walked. That doesn't mean there wasn't any there. I just didn't see any. Then I met someone I know, again, further down, and I was talking to him. And then they, they said, oh, I just remembered. I have a booklet of loose games. Um, they said, you probably like them in cases. I said, let me see if there's some good ones. Who knows, right? Um, now, when I went to look at the games, he had it on the table. She said, ah, I put it out. Somebody's already looking. I said, hey, no problem, right? So the person who is also a game buyer, I looked through every single one. You know what? Let me just start looking through them so you could see what's in. I think it's it might be upside down. So you can see what was here. And um, he looked through the whole book, didn't ask on anything. So I figured, okay, that's that's not great. But I said, oh, I'll look through anyway. Now, I looked through the whole book. And as you can see, here's some Ratchet and Clank. Um, as you can see, basically, or as you're going to see, there's very little here that you can, that has, that's, that's worth... Ten dollars, even or possibly more. I mean, some of the stuff can be lotted. I mean, Fisherman's Bass Club. Unless I'm wrong, and I don't know. Like maybe Fisherman's Bass Club jumped up in price, and now it's worth uh, twenty bucks. These are like Guitar Hero. Uh, what do you think this is worth? What is that anyway? Space balls. Hmm. I wonder what console it plays on. Um, Spongebob, so you can see. And I'll show you the ones that I think are worth $10 more. See, there's a nice lot of Ratchet and Clank games, so I can lot those together, and I'll get like 10 bucks there. But anyway, um, going through. So I looked through the book, like, several times, double-checking myself, just to make sure I see it. I thought this game, I'm not even sure. This might be an 8 to $10 game. So in my head, I said, well, here's an 8 to $10 game. Okay, this is, should be loose, should be a $10 game back is a little scuffed up but whatever loose should be a 10 this is also like a $10 game loose so I was like okay maybe $30 all right and so I'm looking through and I, oh here here's another one that could be that I think that's 8 to 12 something like that so I'm gonna just say $10 game so I'm looking through the games and I see those four games and I recognize them as $10 games I don't know about this one uh, you know I, I don't know um, let's keep going I just, I recognize games that are $4. See, I get mixed up with this, the, the hit and run. I might, I don't know if it's the other one that's worth a little bit more. I don't know this game. Canon. This is software. This is a PC game, a loose disc. I have no clue. It's like Lego. There's some PC games there. It's just, as you can see, it's a bunch of so what and who cares. Now... Again, someone had already looked through the whole book and passed on it. So I said, I'll look, you know. Uh, I thought maybe there's a few things in there, but he wanted me to buy the whole book. So I looked through, and I saw, I think that's it. I think those are the games that are going to be worth 10 bucks. And in my head, I saw $40 worth of games. I don't know about this one. Maybe, maybe, maybe this 45 to 50 Dollars worth of games, which shouldn't be too difficult to sell. I'm not even going to sell these at the flea markets. Okay, so there it is. That's everything. Here's an Xbox One. I know this is a BS game. 
So that's it. That's the whole book. So what I was like, ah, because I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to bother. It's a lot of work, not a lot of money. So he was like, just what do you want to pay? And I'm like, 35 right? And he's like, okay, you got it. He didn't care. So I'm like, okay, fine, I'll get it. But then someone else, while I was talking to him, was looking at the games, right? And he said, um, he said, oh, no, I told him, I said, look, see that guy over there looking at the games? If he asks you how much for the binder, because he's looking at every game, I said, tell him 50 bucks. If he gives you 50 bucks, take it, because he's my friend. I don't, I want him to make more money. So the guy looked through all the games. Um, he said, how much? And I was like, 50 bucks. And he said, 50 bucks. The guy didn't take it. So he says, you got it. He said, I'd rather sell it to you for 35. I said, no, 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 no. Go for money. And another sale. I think I paid 13 for all these patches because I got a t-shirt and something else with it. So let me go through this. It's, I didn't get anything amazing together, but everything was cheap. Um, I'll go through these patches first. Uh, nope. Who cares? Uh, here's a nice Mario one. If I can get, let's see, sold for four. If I can get a couple of bucks, fine. Uh, this is Invader Zim. I might look these up online. Here's a rose. I don't know if it's Guns N' Roses. The Who, obviously. Uh, Superman. Kiss Forever. I can probably get two or three bucks a piece. I don't know who the Indian dude is. If he's rock band. Here's the security. Five Nights at Freddy's Patch. It was like originally five bucks. Hmm. It's like, I feel like I know this. But it's not, you know, some American skull. Wu-Tang, not old patches at all. Uh, here's two hearts. Two hearts that beat as one. Here's another Five Nights at Freddy. Kiss my patch. Don't know if that's a kiss one. Um, this is a famous socialist. I don't remember his name, I believe. Or communist. Whatever. Another kiss patch. And... I don't know. Anybody, you want to tell me who this is? Don't know. Oh, and then there's also this big snake patch was in there. So, again, $13 for all of them. And then there were some cool ones. Steve, if you want any of these, just let me know. Here's a high, a high five. I'm probably going to give this. I'm going to give my daughter first dibs on this. <laughs> Keep on the grass. Get it? Keep on the grass. Route 420. Uh, anybody that knows anything knows 420 is a marijuana reference. See me, roll me, smoke me. That's instructions for, for marijuana use. And then there's this these money talks, uh, the BS walks. Uh, F word it. F U2. Probably be a pretty good, uh, well, maybe this is a YouTube band patch. And the F, it makes it funny. And then it's a sorry we are F word. Okay. I did not curse. All right. Um. At the same sale I bought that, I bought this t-shirt, and for some reason I thought this was an older t-shirt, because I saw Michael Jackson, and I'm assuming uh, this is, I just didn't even look at it, I said, oh, you know, you just grab stuff, you don't look at it, so I, I saw it, and I saw it, Michael Jackson, okay, for some reason I keep going, beat it, Michael Jackson beat it, but that's not the song, I obviously, Thriller, so I, I see this, I go, oh, Michael Jackson, Thriller, right? But it's, I saw it like, so I just grab it. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm just going to, and I throw it with this and I, I just go over and I say, how much is, how much are clothes, right? So I got this t-shirt, didn't even look at it. I think this is new though. And then I got this denim jacket and she goes, oh, a buck a piece. So she gave me the denim jacket for a dollar. So I didn't even look at it. I looked at that now. I don't think it's old. I did not even look at it. It's a size medium, but I'm going to put this in the store. This is a Levi black denim jacket. What do I think it's worth? Made in Uruguay, <laughs> whatever. Uh, what do I think that's worth? I think if I, if I had to go and buy it in the store, I think it's worth 40 to 60 I don't even know. I just know they're expensive. I'm going to put it in the store at 15 20 I don't know. And then this is funny. I was like, it's a concert t-shirt. It's a tour. Newfound Glory. And I don't know the band Newfound Glory. Right? Apparently, 2007 tour. So it's 15, it's 16 years old, right? Uh, wait a minute, 2007. No, it's 12 years old. I don't know them. Uh, what's it say? Senses Fall, right? I did not know that Newfound Glory was a punk band. I almost thought it was a Christian band, but it was a dollar. I was like, oh, who cares? Because I, I see this bed light for blue eyes, but this is what confused me. The receiving end of sirens. So I was like, maybe it's, it's a end of days reference, right? And then I flipped it over. And these guys don't look like punk 
dudes from this particular picture. But then I realized it is a tour. It was multi-band. So, Newfound Glory, Census Fail, Bed Light for Blue Eyes, Life of Life on Life's Terms, and The Receiving End of Sirens. I don't know. It was a dollar. Uh, so I think that could be worth... I did a little research. I could not, of course, find that particular shirt. I think it's worth 12 to 30 bucks. I don't know. Um, I went into a thrift store because I had to get keys, and we were in um, Bergenfield, I think. And there's this thrift store. If you go to Scummy Resellers, you'll see my video. I saw this vase, and it was marked 18 I see. Is it marked 18 Yeah, it was marked $18. I'm like, oh, that looks like Blanco, so I'll just go. I'll buy it, right? Turns out they were having a 50% off sale, so I got it for 9 and change. Uh, anyway, I, I was right. It is Blanco. I'm, I'm definitely right. I don't think it's super valuable. I thought it was worth maybe 50 or 40 So I was willing to pay 18 because I'm going to Rutherford Street Fair. Normally, I wouldn't buy it. But at the Rutherford Street Fair, I can put Blanco on. I have a chance to sell it. But now that I only paid 10 for it, I'm willing to price it. If it's worth 50 I'm just going to make it like 30 bucks. And even if I get 25 I don't care. I'll, I'll be happy to sell it. If it doesn't sell, I'm either going to put it in the showcase or in our store because it is a nice example of mid-century modern glass it has the pontel on the bottom 100 percent blanco these are called applied uh probably it's just an applied decoration of glass i don't know if it's meant to represent the flower don't know but it is blanco so whatever all right the last thing i'm gonna show is the jewelry and this is everything we got $68 what, what I spent today. Yeah, I don't think I got anything that'll pay for it all. Uh, these are JJ pins. Stuff like this. It, I mean, she paid 50 cents a piece for this. They're exactly the same pins in gold and silver. I don't know if she'll sell them as a lot, but these are worth $8 and up on, on eBay. Don't know exact value. Here's the uh, house pins by Lucinda. They're not worth very much, and shipping would kill half the value on something like this. But if you lot them, you can get 15 And as long as you don't pay more than a dollar or so, um, you can get like, say, two pins, you get 12 to 15 Three pins, like 15 for sure, you know. So as long as you don't pay much for them, you're good. Here's a stick pin. I guess she liked it because of the tassels. I have no clue. She, Marie likes tassel jewelry. Um, I don't know if it's on or anything. This is just a nice tassel necklace, gold tone. Uh, I don't believe it has any markings. This is an enamel and gold tone butterfly, and it does say Italy on the back, which you can plainly see. Uh, this was a dollar. Oh, all this jewelry, I think, was six bucks. That's what I think. Not 100% sure. Did not get any jewelry at the Meadowlands. Uh, at the Meadowlands, I saw one piece of jewelry that I, I decided to ask on. I saw, and I remember, I only went down one, one row. There was a lot of stuff there, so there was a good chance that there's a lot of really decent jewelry. But I only saw one piece that I decided to ask on. It was some cufflinks. They were very nice in a box. Nothing major, but I felt that they were worth maybe 20 or so on, on eBay. I did not check prices on them. I just asked the guy, how much do you want for cufflinks? He, and you'll see on Discovery Resellers because I showed it, um, the, the video. He said 20 bucks. I was out. Uh, anyway, uh, these are Marcusite silver earrings. These we will probably sell eight to ten dollars at a flea market. Uh, it needs new backs. No big deal. Uh, not on the correct card. Paid a dollar. This is an Irish. I forget what they call these. Clotter ring. I don't know. It's just an. It's like a Scottish. It's a Scottish Celtic pin whatever uh, I don't know what that's worth she's probably gonna put that on eBay this might be Monet not worth a lot of money Monet it's not worth a lot of Monet and I buy Monet I mean money um, but whatever I think it was a dollar she could sell it for three dollars or she can lot some Monet pen if she wants this is um, I think she said Cornelian black jade and see how all this the stones are are, are individually threaded um, and it has some claws and eight beads. Very lovely necklace. She probably paid a dollar. I don't know what she's going to do with it. Um, it has this gold color clasp. It is not gold. It just got a gold wash or whatever. It goes straight to a magnet. All right, that's everything I got today. Tomorrow I am going to Lynnhurst. Don't know how that's going to turn out. There's a chance I could find some stuff. Beats me. Um, Lynnhurst has been... I think 
getting more competitive for buying. You know, there's uh, for some reason there's a bunch of toy guys that are going there. I think because there's like one vendor that's selling toys, old school stuff. Um, other than that, I'm going to be at the Rutherford Street Fair on Sunday and probably in the shop back on Tuesday. Uh, do me a favor, everybody. Uh, like my Facebook page. It's in the link. Thank you very much for doing that. I am going to be... I don't know. Subscribe to the people I put links to, please. And I don't know. What, uh, watch the Scummy Reseller. Subscribe to that. Those videos are longer because I walk around and I look for stuff. Um, and I show it. All right, I'm out of here. Goodbye.